this spirea, I'm going to transplant over there next to all the other spireas. This one's all by itself. Okay. It doesn't make any sense sitting here, so I thought I'd, I'd incorporate that with the, those. And then I'm going to be putting little quick fire hydrangeas all in here. Where this one gets removed, puts over there, and then I have nine little quick fire hydrangeas coming along in here. And then I have. Column left here. Yeah, the, that's the same perennial as over there. Which one is that? The, the white one. The one with the. We were talking with about all the bees. bees. Yeah, okay. That goes here? Yeah, that goes right in here. So you get this, then it'll go up in front of there. And then back here, I have three arrowwood viburnum. They okay, might and be those are the out. ones that are on the those other side like along on the, the fence. Uh, on the fence, right. Okay. And that's just going to take up some space up in this. Uh, okay, and then I have some grasses that are all in here. These little dots. Okay, okay. The dot, all the dots are grass. And what is this There's X? A grass. And then here's another Japanese tree lilac. That's those trees that's, there? That's, yes. Okay. So I incorporated one in there, and then we got the grasses again. I got the grasses. Then three more dentatums again. We're going to go with three more arrowwoods. Okay. And then behind here, we're going to go with another hydrangea. That's a taller plant. And, and it's got the white balls on it. Yes. But Sometimes these are blue. Fires or not. They're not round, they're more oblong. Okay. It's a, it's a taller tree plant. It'll grow up against the fence line. Yes. And then I'm, I'm going again with the same pattern. Then I got the grasses. Another Japanese may, uh, lilac. All right, lilac. another one of these trees here. Yes, there's going to be three of them all together here. Okay. Okay. And then again, I got the grasses in between again. And what do you do with the roots of that tree? That we're gonna have, we're not gonna be able to do. Much. I can cut some of the smaller roots, all right. Yeah. But the big major roots, I'm just gonna have to jog around with the root structure. So you can get in deep enough to plant something. Yes, I'll, I'll have to move and whatever. Yes, and if it's not a real major plant uh, root, then I could, I could, I can cut down what's not major. Okay. Um, but whatever is major. And you need to cut some of these tree branches off to yes. give light? Yes, I'm going to cut these. Everything will be cut, whatever I need. Like, right, these two branches here will be cut off. This branch over here. So we got the two quick fires. One, two, oh, that's the last of Tatum. And then I have three more viburnums right in here. And then what I want to do... So are we still leaving these lilies here? Do um, they stay? The, yeah, existing day okay, lilies okay, stay. Okay, okay. And then I had another... I want to remove this plant here. Yeah, right, right, and right. You said it has a dead a dead uh, trunk. Yeah, it's, uh, it's screwed up. But then I'm going to put another Japanese lilac tree. Bed off so right when this here. tree comes out, you're putting a Japanese lilac in here, the third one. Right. And then the dentatum, and then I'm going to stop this. What I've done is this whole circle in here. We're going to we're going to regrade this and put sod down. Okay. And then I'm you're not, also going to put sod in these where these trees were removed. I was going to seed that for you. I was going to seed it, but I could, you know, you were you gave me a budget kind of to work with. I'm over the budget a little bit, but not by much. I think you'll be kind of impressed. Okay. So, this is the this is. A pattern you can see where I got the Japanese yeah. maple, Japanese maple, Japanese maple. This is the dentatum, dentatum, dentatum. That's the tall grass. No, the grasses are in the. Oh, green. the green. Okay. In the greens. And the dentatum is the is the white stuff. No, that's the arrowwood viburnum is a dentatum. Oh, oh, the the bushes. Right. Okay. But then you have the daylilies, and then I have the the grasses that are in this grouping. Yeah. And then here is your 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 perennial. Okay. And then I have some more down on this end. 
Okay. So, and by the, in front of the roses too, I have some. Which one is the, what are the perennials? What, what green? All in the pink. Which ones are those? Those white fall. Oh, the, the white, yes. the white ones. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. That's them right here. See, I got okay. those colored with the. Okay. In the pink. And then what if some of this stuff doesn't come back next year? What do we do? Perennials are not guaranteed, but all the other plant material is guaranteed. It, and there's no reason for them to die unless we don't take care of them, meaning if we don't give them water. And if we don't we give them water... We have confirmed that there is absolutely water here. Okay, There's a good that's fine. As long, and then after we do it, we'll turn on the sprinklers and make sure everything gets watered. And that everything gets watered. Um, Monitor it. You know, and I'll be monitoring this. Spreads out to everybody else's lawns. Where do you see weeds in an island? All those little, those four islands, they all have, they're filled with crabgrass and weeds. Oh, in the grass? Yeah, the lawn oh. itself. The lawn itself, yeah. The lawn, it's, yeah, there's not much there other than a bush or two, you know? But the grass is, nothing's been taken. It's like a park that no one's done anything but just cut the grass. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, okay. I know it's nobody's, but what people don't even realize, people that have weeds in their lawns, those seeds blow into the next lawn. lawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now everybody in that cul-de-sac will be having crabgrass, but they don't realize why. Where it's coming from, yeah. Right, is I ended up, I'm gonna give you this sheet here, okay? Uh-huh, okay. And this sheet has numbers on it. Oh, so it, it corresponds to the so, plants. Exactly. Perfect. So number one, transplant the spirea. Number one, you'll see spirea, transplant one for $50. Got it. All right, a little quick fire is number two. So we have nine quick fire hydrangeas. Nine quick fire hydrangeas for 1,066. Okay. Um, and this also okay. includes your guarantee, and, and uh, one year guarantee on all the plant material, except for perennials. Perennials and sod is not guaranteed because those need to get watered, and if you don't water them, they will and, die. And, and perennials are considered like the hostas. Like, Do, you didn't see any hostas in no, here. No, because we decided not to put any hostas in here because of the deer. Uh, um, the deer will eat those up like crazy. There are hostas in our neighborhood that are still that are doing well. Yes, but we don't have that many deer, even though it's called Deer Run. No, I snow plow here. I know how many deer you have here in the middle of the night. <laughs> you know the whole family? I know, no, I the know. Deers. There's about 20 deer that are running around this whole neighborhood at 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning in the wintertime when it's snowing. Okay. I've seen them here for the last 20 years. Okay, but there are hostas that do very well oh, in here. Well, the, there's hostas that haven't been eaten yet. You know, there's deer that, that if they find, if they have another place to eat them, they love hostas. I mean, I'll put hostas in here, but I, would, I wouldn't recommend them. Because especially in the front entrance, once they're eaten up. And they're know, considered perennials. Like, yes. They're not plants. Yes, they're perennials. They come up every year. Right, right. Anything Whereas the bushes there. are there all year long. They may go dormant, but they're there. Oh, they absolutely. don't die away. Right, right. Okay, got it. Right, they don't die and then come back. So I have everything itemized for you.